Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your August general reading with me Eva Spirit. Let's get started. This will be for mid to the end of August 2023. We'll start with an oracle card and then move to the tarot. Thank you so much. Messages for the Sagittarian Collective, please. What is their message? What do you want to communicate to them? Thank you. All right, got a few cards that came out here. Let's take a look. Oh, three, okay. All right, first card you got is Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. The card says, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. Uh, things are moving, things are changing, things are shifting. There's, um, ooh, uh, being guided to a new direction, I'm hearing as well. Um, could be guided towards starting something new. Um, when something new is started, something inevitably ends or changes, but they're really highlighting like something new beginning. Um, being called, being inspired could be a new opportunity coming your way as well. And then you've got the card no, <laughs> which says wait, postpone, pause, say no. So this actually came out in the reverse position. So I'm wondering if it being in the reverse position has something to do with it. Normally I wouldn't do reversals here, but let's tap into this energy and see what else is coming. I'm hearing something about hesitations, uh, holding back, um, getting things in order, um, not, um, Oh, I'm getting something like you may be getting, getting an offer to go somewhere abroad or to move or to embark on some sort of new journey. And they, uh, it could be a person is holding you back from that or doesn't want you to go because they're giving me just this image of like strings kind of holding you back. And they're really not giving me anything at this stage about what to do about that. They're just saying that that is the case. It says the next card, Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Okay, I feel, oh, I feel like this is something you have to do. You feel like you have to do it. You feel called to do it. You, you, you can't deny the synchronicity of it all. You're very aware. You feel it in your gut that uh, this, is, this is no accident that some sort of opportunity to begin again has come to you you have to go for it you have to take it even though there may be people saying no or people holding you back in some way um it could be for some of you in particular it's a, a relationship a romantic relationship it's like maybe it means that you have to um do you know i don't want to say end the relationship but maybe you have to move into long distance or the relationship dynamic changes in some way but what i'm getting here is that um if, if it is, um, if you are in a connection as well, you're not sure what to do about that connection. I'm getting that that connection is very significant. And they're saying like, what's yours will come back to you. Like what's yours is never lost. It's always yours. So I'm getting that even if you have to go and do something, um, it doesn't automatically mean that a connection is over. Um, it, it may make you realize how much you actually care about each other. Could be the other way around. It could also be that someone else is is going um, into um, a new opportunity and that um, changes your uh, environment as well, doesn't it? And that inevitably creates a new beginning for you without them. And so, yeah, could be. Let's get some from the tarot. It's like something is happening that it just can't be stopped. It really feels like bigger, um, bigger than you or bigger than the connection or bigger. Like it's just very undeniable that somebody has to go forward with an opportunity. Okay. Even though we have the no card, it's like this push and pull. So it's like someone may be holding you back or you may be the one holding back from someone. It's kind of painful with that no card. I'm getting a bit of pain there, you know, a bit of struggle, a bit of, I don't know, but I feel like it's a, it's going to be okay. That's what they're giving me. It's going to be okay. You're not going to lose anyone. No one's going to lose you. Okay, for the sign of Sagittarius, please. We elaborate on their message. Thank you. The sign of Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know? What do they need to know, please? Okay, thank you. Is there anything else? All right. Thank you. Nice. Ten of Cups came out at the end. 
All right, we've got some reversals here. Let's take a look. So the first card we've got is the Ace of Cups in reverse um, with the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is this is definitely reflecting what, I, what was coming for the earlier cards as well. Ace of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be choosing career over a relationship, whether it's you or your person. Um, this is creating a feeling of what I'm hearing like an empty cup, empty cup sort of energy. Uh, feeling lost, confused, hurt, empty, right? Um, whereas another energy with the King of Pentacles here, somebody's um, asking to be stepped up. And there's also an energy here of responsibility, okay? It's not, see, this is why there's this energy of it like being bigger than just, it's not just about you, it's not just about the other person, it's not just about the two of you. It's like there's this energy that's bigger than both of you. It's bigger, like you can't deny it. And there's an energy here of, of um, somebody stepping up and taking responsibility. Somebody may need to go home for a while to take care of some business even, and it may affect the relationship. Well, you feel like it would right next card we've got it is, is the star which is perfect beautiful energy so this is healing hope rejuvenation spirituality deep deep healing here so this is what i was saying to you like everything's gonna be okay you're not gonna lose this person and that's what i'm getting with the star energy here things will change but it doesn't mean that it's lost okay I'm getting with the star energy things will change because the star is about renewal but it doesn't mean that it's lost okay you still have this person there is still love with this person all right next card we've got is the chariot in reverse he plans change plans are changing directions are changing um there could be a temporary split okay it could be like somebody going in one direction you going in the other direction for a while but look what comes next at the end you've got the ten of cups here see how i'm telling you it's like it's this isn't without challenge and it's not without difficulty but in the end it's gonna be all right beautiful energy here beautiful card as well ten of cups this is like having everything lined up and they're really highlighting highlighting to me this cute little dragon family that's just letting me know that like you you guys are going to come back together all right so i feel like maybe some of you have really been worrying about a situation within a relationship or a family member or something and you know being apart temporarily is going to cause a lot of problems and it, it really won't um but somebody has to do something and um you know it's gonna you're gonna come back with this person all right so that's what i got for you sagittarius i hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work thank you so much take care and i'll speak to you soon Bye bye